Packing up and moving can be a challenge and not a lot of fun. With tips for making the whole process a little less stressful, we're joined by the general manager of Two Men and a Truck, Steve Barton. Steve, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank Absolutely. You. Got a lot of people moving this time of year. Of course, we're talking college students and also spring's a, a time that people generally move more often. Let's first address college students who are getting ready to move out right now. Absolutely. I would say the first thing you want to do is collect all the trash. Nobody wants to pack up trash. Nobody wants to take trash home with them. So I would say you want to make sure that all the trash is cleared out of your dorm. The second step would be make sure you decide what do you want to take with you. Some of the stuff you may not want to take home. Uh, your parents may not want you to bring home with you. Right. Uh, and so I would say is this stuff that I could donate? Is this stuff that I can maybe store over the summer? And then go ahead and we would call divide and conquer at that point. Um, pack up these items that you want to take with you and then in these larger boxes I would say you could store the stuff from the winter time that you're not going to be using over the summer on some off-site storage maybe over the summertime. Um, we provide off-site storage if that was something that they would want to provide or we could provide for them. Mm -hmm. And then of course textbooks. Yeah. Large textbooks, um, stuff that you may not need in the future, yeah. go ahead and determine what that is and then go ahead and uh, maybe you could sell that back because they are expensive sure. or you could donate those accordingly. And what are the chances you're ever going to read your college textbooks Correct. again, right? right? Let's talk about this item because I think this is mm -hmm. one of the best inventions ever. This sure. has made some of my moves sure. so much easier. You call this a wardrobe box. Correct. Yeah, I think that uh, a majority of the time what we like to do is uh, we suggest that you pack a lot of like maybe shoes mm -hmm. or some of the smaller items in the bottom half of this. Right. And then obviously this provides a bar here where you can hang a lot of your, let's say, sweaters, uh, a lot of the shirts or maybe even pants. And this will hold up to about two and a half feet of storage space These for the closet. To make all the difference in the world because I think moving clothes is the worst. It's like the hardest part. Absolutely. I've got like 10 of these in my attic right now. Sure. No lie. So let's also talk about different size boxes. Mm -hmm. because that can be key as well. Absolutely. If you are going to be moving, I would say, in an SUV, mm -hmm. obviously something like this is right. going to be a little tough to move. But when you're moving, you know, using the smaller box or a medium-sized box, that's going to be beneficial when moving with an SUV. And especially when uh, you're using a box versus bags, um, you, can, you can pack this a little neater in the back of the vehicle and you can, you can get more to fit. Uh, accordingly because you're using more of a cube instead of you know bags that are just going to be thrown around and stuff. And spill. Absolutely. And what is this material? Steve? This is what we would use for packing. Okay. Um, we suggest that you don't use newspaper because newspaper can actually transfer and we don't want to ruin anything and so we always use uh, a plain plain paper and when we're packing those items up uh, any kind of fragiles anything like that you want to make sure that you can pack it up in packing paper and then you can place it into the box when packing the box make sure you pack enough in there so you you know can condense your space especially when you have a smaller vehicle that you're going to be packing stuff into and you don't want things shifting around because that's absolutely. how they break and i know that you brought the right kind of tape here because we've all made that mistake absolutely you don't want to use masking tape or painters tape you want to make sure you use packing tape and especially when you're uh, preparing your boxes don't just fold the boxes on the bottom. Make sure that you're preparing the box properly with tape. Uh, make sure it's secure because you don't want to be carrying the box and then stuff <laughs> fall out everywhere. Out, yeah. uh, you know, it's a stressful situation. You want to get out. You want to move on. You know, it's summer, of course. So make sure that you get that uh, packed up and pre pre prepared properly. Well, thanks for helping us get prepared. Steve Absolutely. Barton from Two Men in a Truck. Thanks for being with us Thank this you. morning. Thank you. Appreciate it.